So if you remember, first of all, we got this guy here. And I don't necessarily want to buy the item because I already know what it goes to, but this guy has a memo for a three-story pagoda. Now, the three-story pagoda is in the Harada estate. We have another friend who was talking about a three-story pagoda, if you remember our little thief friend. Uh, Harata Estate. What would be the best way? Right here, probably? So we'll go to our little thief. <laughs> thief! Oh boy. Come on. Can we just do this? So he's all the way over here, and he tells us where this three-story pagoda is. Now, I thought I had found it, but I did not. I'm so sorry. But he's right here. On the top of some cliff. Alright, so I was under the opinion that the cliff was the just like the main castle or like the hidden temple where we just visited like five minutes ago. I thought that that was the three story pagoda. I don't know what the word pagoda means, so I just assumed that was correct. But if we go to the Harata estate here and we go to the bamboo thicket slope, we can actually find an area that I can't believe we missed because we walked right past it. Is it faster to go this way? I don't know what the fastest way is. Oh yeah, it's probably faster to go this way. So if you've been watching, then you'll remember that right under that bridge, you can drop down from right there, which is how we got here the first time. There's actually a carp in this water that distracted me, but there's an item, like right here. So I grabbed the item and I was like, that's what this area was for. There's a carp and an item. Seems good. But there's this. And I did not see this. I have no idea how I did not see this. And now we have more of these walls that we can jump up with a continuous... Oh, excuse me? How did you... How did I get off center enough to miss? Alright. And now we're on top of this hill. You can see we're kind of at the top of the waterfall. Can we see anything? Yeah, we can see the bridge from here. So we're just right up here, not that far away. Now that looks like a three-story pagoda, wouldn't you say? So that's what I was missing, and I feel kind of dumb. But for anyone else who may have not seen it, or thought if you're just watching along, you know that I explored everything. Wrong. There is, however, a man. Mm, he's a very keen man. Now you might recognize this guy's fighting style.
That's actually the first time I've made good use of uh, Sabi Maru. I thought it might be fun to try it for this fight. So we did beat him. And he appears to be one-armed. I don't know if he actually is one-armed. Kind of trying to like look under his stuff. I think that's a stump. So I'm pretty sure he's one-armed. And his fighting style used a lot of kicks and stuff. Very much like the lone shadow long swordsman that was investigating our starting spot of the game that well. And then he obviously wanted to fight us. And this is three years ago. So it makes you think that the wolf probably came here three years ago and maybe fought this guy or maybe they're just related. They could be in the same clan, same family, something like that. Either way, they both have a very similar fighting style and they both appear to be one-armed. And he was definitely looking for us. But we are rewarded with the Mist Raven's Feathers. A bundle of Mist Raven Feathers can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool in Usui Forest, far to the north of Ashina, live many mysterious birds of prey. The Mist Raven is the only one to have eluded capture by all who have tried. Should you somehow manage it, you'll find it gone. Only feathers in your grasp. 